Hello everyone, it's Gom. I'm back, and I would like to just give you guys a example of how I make pipes as a user in the Discord. They want to know how to make welds. So I'm going to show you guys how I make my pipes and how I make my welds using their pipe setup as the reference, and basically showing you how I make them super optimized, high quality, and good. So, enjoy. So, first step into making the pipes is... Not everyone's going to have a reference, so this is the user from the Discord's weld, or, uh, pipes. And, you know, they get the job done, but they're 16,000 triangles, which is just absurd. You you don't need more than maybe 1,000 or less for this, and I'll show you guys how to do that. So I like to start off with, depending on the type of pipes, either a bezier curve or a plane and I turn it to a curve. So for this, we'll mess with the Bezier curve and we'll try and get it to work. So Bezier curve basically, um, without selecting anything, you've got two points. You've got here and here by default, you get two points. And when you click on them, it brings two little dots. These dots, you can control the angle, the distance and all that. Now, to basically make, let's just say, this first pipe, the one that goes like that. Take this main point, put it here. Take this other point, rotate it until it's going to be the angle. So we want about there. Now, remember how I mentioned these points? Just take them, and you can move, pull, adjust. And same here, move, pull, adjust. Now, I don't like how this goes wide, so I'm just going to shrink it down. And then, now this edge is a little wide. You know, that, that's a basic pipe. So, now, just adjust the points until you get something you're happy with. Now, as you can see, we're obviously not even close to that shape. So fix that, just subdivide, right click, or A, right click, subdivide. And you've got another point you can use, maneuver, scale, and adjust. So there we go. This allows me to be able to use this first dot or point to adjust. There we go. Now we've got, oh, I'm not paying that much attention. So, oh, there we go. That's good enough for the example. So, hide all these pipes. Now for the curve, Click this, geometry, bevel, round, depth. All you want to do is put this to your desired size. That's about, that's about right. So if I hide this, there's our pipe. 576. Now, you can optimize this way more, but on in all honesty, 500... It looks perfect. You don't need to adjust it anymore. You won't even notice these little edges in game. And it's honestly, in my opinion, what works best. Just simple, keep these settings. And if you really don't like how the edges, you can just adjust it. But we aren't going to do that. So that's my first way of making pipes. Okay, so now I'm just going to show you guys how to make a different method or a different method to make your pipes so this one is for more simple shapes when you don't really need to have a lot so all I did shift a plane shift a mesh plane deleted every vert besides the top right one top left bottom left bottom right it's your call um, doesn't matter so you, you place that vertice where you want to start your pipe for us, we're going to put it here, and then you're just going to go into your view of choice, 
basically clicking E, just map out how you want your pipe to be. Don't worry about making the edges smooth, as we don't need to have them smooth right now. So I'm just going to place this about center, and then move it forward. And then we're just going to get the main points. So like, there's a curve here. Uh, it bends down here. Bends back up here. So just the general shape. And if you've got a pipe reference you're remaking, let's say you already got a pipe set up, but it's high poly, um, you'd place it about center with uh, your set your setup. So now I'm just gonna get it all centered. There we go. So obviously this will not make a good pipe. So what I like to do is just slowly, vertice by vertice, add in. And here we'll do two. Here we're gonna do two, and we're gonna we're gonna just adjust. So I'm t double tapping G, and then edge sliding these to make a smoother transition. And that's smooth from top view. So then you go left view. So we want it to curve down. We curve it down. And then this isn't the angle we want, so we readjust. This is the much more tedious way. That's why I say it's easier for simple pipes. So we'll just add two verts here and adjust the position. Where it's here, adjust the position, where it's here. Okay. Now, this is just a very, very simple, like, showcase. This is definitely not exactly how I would do it, but you guys will learn your own workflows and methods. And you don't even have to make the pipes perfect either. They can be like, you know, a little dented, but I like mine to be smooth when I do them. There we go. We've got a pipe outline. Now you can isolate this with the backslash key or forward slash. I don't know. It's the one next to shift. <laughs> so right click, convert to curve. Same thing as the Bezier method, except we had to manually make it a curve. So right here. One, two, three, four. Unisolate. And it actually can go to five. So now, as you see, right click, shade smooth. <clears throat> now, it's very jagged. So to finish this pipe and make it not jagged, select areas bit by bit, uh, right click, subdivide. And you would just yourself go through and adjust. So like here. And then you would go like this. It's really easy once you get the hang of it. So, transition, transition. Okay, this is where we need to start subdividing again. And this also makes you better with not overdoing vertice amounts and vertex uh, or triangle counts because if you place these too close together, you'll start to get them colliding. So if I do this, you can see it doesn't look right. So the more you get together in a close area, the more um, wrong it looks. So it really gives you vertex discipline in a way. That's what I have to call it. Um, there you go. If I isolate this one, this one's 480. So similar result, just a different method. And in my opinion, once you learn the Bezier um, curve method, there's no reason to use this. I still do from time to time, but Bezier, in my opinion, just makes life so much easier. 
because you're not working with, you know, 21 vertices. You're working with three little dots, one, two, and three, with sub-edges or sub-vertices. Nine vertices total. And it has a big difference in what you do. So, my opinion, Bezier pipe is the best way to do this. Now, let's move on to making the welds. Okay, so, making the welds. Let's take our Bezier pipe as the reference as it's how I would use it. I would do the Bezier method. So, right click, now convert to mesh. Okay, so let's say you got your pipe shape exact and you don't need to mirror it. If you need to mirror it, um, don't. So now that we've converted to a mesh, you can actually adjust it and modify it. Now, what I like to do is take away edges because um, I really do like being optimized when it comes to pipes. But you don't have to. It's all preference, but I like to do that because you can't really tell in game and it just have the pull, uh, the triangle count. That's your call though. For this video, uh, I won't do it. So now let's say you want a lot of welds. Let's say you want to make this like a three piece pipe. So let's just assume you want a weld uh, here, here, and here. The way I do it is I copy the mesh, shift D, hide the copy, uh, go back into edit mode on the original, control B, bevel it till about a decent size weld width wise. That's good for me. Um, make sure it's good. Yep. Switch to uh, face mode using three on your keyboard. P selection. Now you can delete the original pipe. And now we have this. Okay, so <laughs> I goofed and I hit a keybind and turned off my mic. So, um, from the last clip, I said we have this. And last clip, it was the outlines. Basically, we just had the outlines left after we deleted the original pipe. So, all I did was basically select all of your outlines, no matter how many you have. Select this and set it to individual origins. And then click S, and then you want to just scale up your um, outlines for your welds uh, until they're not clipping anywhere on your model. So, like so. They're not clipping, and this is because we're going to overlay them using a texture. The one I provided in the description is for you to use, and it should work almost exactly the same. Now, how do you texture? So, in the last bit of footage, I just applied a basic material to my exhaust. You guys would probably, in-game, have, or you, you will have some image texture to get, you know, chrome, then specular, whatever. I just applied a base color and adjust values. So, for the welds, you want to just create a new material, name it what you want it to actually be named. So, I'll name mine GOM welds underscore a so weld underscore a go into shading isolate oh, well, don't isolate hide all these extra ones if you've got extra pipes um okay shift a search i am image texture shift d and um shift d now we've got three image texture shaders, nodes, whatever you want to call them. Click open. Um, now the texture is going to be provided down below. So you, you put them wherever you want your computer. Mine are in here. Well, D would go into this top one. <clears throat> and weld N would go into the bottom one. Weld S. We'll go here, set this to non-color, open on the third one, and put weld in. And then set this to non-color. Then shift A, 
search nm oh, nm normal map take the color from weld and png put the color on the normal map plug normal into normal of the bsdf shader weld s would take the color plug it into specular and weld d would go right into base color and then all you gotta do Oh, I applied it to the wrong material. Don't be like me. <laughs> so, just rename this to GOM welds then. <clears throat> then, go here to the, this. Apply your material. Okay. Oh, I forgot something. So, uh, weld DPNG. Grab alpha. Scroll down. And plug into alpha. Make sure your normal map's plugged into normal. Like so. Now it's transparent. Once we go down here on the right, blend mode, alpha blend. There we go. Now you can see transparent. So now this is the part where a lot of people don't know what to do. Because you all can apply a material in Zmod or Blender or whatever. So what I like to do for welds, what you kind of have to do is find an area of your pipes that aren't used or seen the most. So let's just say on this pipe example, this back section is hidden. Like this is against the firewall and this is against the engine block. Okay, so pick an area where you don't see anything usually. Okay, mark seam. All I did is right click, mark seam. Click A. And then UV unwrap bases, unwrap. Or you can do A, then U, then unwrap. UV editing. We've now got three strips right here. Each of these strips is your, each of your worlds. So all we're going to do is turn on snapping, turn on vertex. And you're just going to place these, snap to each portion and then we're going to even them out if they're a little curved or a little offset and as you can see they are some of them aren't in direct places which is completely fine so this even is fine so you select s y zero on the numpad s y zero on the numpad and so on so just do that flatten these so they're all the same height. <clears throat> and then, once you've done that, do you want to select the left side or right side? S, X, numpad zero. Do the same thing on the opposite side. Now, I'm going to click A, rotate, 90 on your numpad, and then S, Y, and then scale it until it takes up the entire UV space you see here, for the most part. So edge to edge, you don't want it going out or it'll start overlapping. Place this dead center, switch this to the normal map, go over to your side window, and then um, click this, I just use the middle mouse to drag this. Turn that off so you can see your welds. And now all you gotta do, scale. So I want my welds like that. And if you don't want the outline on your weld or you're using your own weld texture, just, you know, adjust. Adjust it. And you can always adjust your mesh as well. Don't feel confided to this amount that you made before. Because if I show you, um, turn back on this, you can easily just slide this and then UV space. All you got to do is that. Now your worlds are thin. Unrealistic, but thin. Now these could also be too chunky. I don't know. It works. This gets the idea down now you've got welds and i'm actually going to add the edges back 
because in my opinion it looks better. So there we go. That's how you do welds and pipes and blender. Hope this helped some of you. And um, oh yeah, the triangle account for this pipe with the welds, 648 triangles for all of this. Now if we go back to the user in the Discord, their one pipe right here is 4,700 triangles. So I hope this video showed you guys you can use pipes and make amazing pipes without suffering high poly count or low poly count. You really don't need all this excess poly count to make something look good. GTA 5 is a 10 year old game and you gotta also look at things like you're not gonna be up two inches away from them like you are when making them. So lower poly does not usually matter as long as it's not very visible. Yeah, hope this helped, and bye.